During this webinar updating Metro nonprofits on the status of COVID-19, the Dean for the College of Public Health at UNMC makes one thing clear. Our outbreak is not controlled in Nebraska by any set of criteria. Dr. Ali Khan breaks it down with these charts and graphs. He says the state has averaged about 250 cases a day over the course of two months. And when you break the case numbers down by population. So we are actually one of the hardest hit states in America. We're 10th in the nation per capita. I am starting to see a change. Health director Dr. Adi Poor keeping a close eye on the numbers, specifically among younger people contracting COVID-19. She says 18% of cases are now among 5 to 24 year olds. Two weeks ago, it was 14%. And that brings new concern. We are seeing younger cases now. And I think with all the unrest that we have seen and the protest, that number, that percentage may actually increase in that age group. Not just in Douglas County, but nationwide. Dr. Khan says he's seen problems before the protests. The uh, countries in the early phases of the outbreak, they did their job. They've all flattened the curve. He says the U.S. government has dropped the ball. We are minting 200 new death certificates every day in America right now. He believes we need to give people like Dr. Poor and others who work in public health more resources to do their job. We need better public health systems and we need to support our local, state and national public health systems because that's what's going to get us out of this outbreak. In Omaha, James Wilcox, KETV, Newswatch 7. Well, most of the directed health measures in Douglas County are lifted. Research suggests those restrictions likely prevented countless infections. A new study from the scientific journal Nature says there would have been 60 million more coronavirus cases without large-scale quarantine policies.